I didn't record anything, dude. Nothing was recorded. That's great, bro. <laughs> oh, that's the icing on the... <laughs> Perfect. Okay, welcome back to another video. Sorry, boys, but um, I'm kind of pissed a bit because I thought I was recording this video, but I forgot to press record, so I was just talking and doing nothing. <laughs> so I have to record this video again. Anyway, let's continue. Fuck it. We already fucked up, so we might as well do it again, I guess. So I'm gonna explain everything again. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, um, explain that um, you have to pretty much paste a script in here, put your key right in here between these things, and then once you put your key there, you get your key right over here, by the way. You get... This is how you get your own key. And then you can go to supported games, this URL. That's um, It's just basically a link to all the all the games I wrote scripts for um, okay so let's start so infinite stamina self-explanatory gives you infinite stamina uh, disabled drowning will stop you from drowning but by the way there's a bug so make sure that you're um, if you enable disabled drowning make sure you're not underwater if you enable this while you're underwater you will stay drowning so make sure you get out of the water first uh, sprint speed you could change your sprint speed uh, set a limit because um, I don't think you really need to fucking zoom out in this place, but mark exits will pretty much mark all the exits for the levels. Um, that's pretty much all that is. And I am kind of don't need that right now, but mark entities will mark entities around the map if there are any entities. But keep in mind that sometimes this will not work because this game has streaming enabled on, which basically means the game isn't fully loaded. It's whatever is loaded is basically what's on your player. So um, so if you go far away enough, just stuff just will not load. So you have to be around the monster to actually make it work. Sometimes. But if I go back to the monster, I think, where the monsters are. What the fuck? Let me try enabling it and again. Nope, I don't see it. What the fuck? Where do the monsters go? Anyway, any, any, you know, I'm not gonna test it. It's, it's too much time. I'm kind of pissed already because I thought I recorded this video, but I didn't. So I'm a bit pissed. So, yeah, we're gonna just finish the level. But, yeah, just, you know, turn it on and off again if the monsters don't load. Um, if you think they're actually next to you, but, you know, yeah, just turn it on. So, that's that. These are pretty much the, the ESP stuff that I decided to add. Uh, next is complete level. If you press this once, it'll pretty much complete the level for you. This, by the way, only works up to 0 to 10. So, past, I mean, 0 to... 11 level 11 kinda um for level 11 i it finishes it halfway you have to f still finish it halfway because it's a bit bugged and now i have to rejoin the game because this game is really buggy that's what i'm saying like sometimes you just get stuck on spawn too like you see this right now i'm just anchored i can't really move Hang on, let me try to see if my body is actually anchored because i legitimately can't move i don't want to rejoin and start over bro like Damn, I don't want to like start over again, bro. It's like I did it so many times already. Okay, my apparently this is anchored. Okay, I can move now. Oh, weird, bro. Sometimes, you know, some parts of your body is just like anchored. So you can't actually move and complete the level. So yeah, just complete the level again. That's re just really buggy, bro. That's just this game being shit. Um, I hope they fix it, you know, I, I, I hope for the best. Um, as you can see, I still have mark entities on, so it will try to find the hound, but like I said, sometimes it glitches, and you have to, like, turn it on again, and off, off and on again. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep, keep completing these levels, and, um, they just pretty much go to the exits, and finish it right away. This is going to work for level 0 and level 10 um perfectly the only levels that this doesn't work for completely is a level 11 and i didn't make a complete level for level 12 yet so you know if you're about that just yeah just complete the level like i said to finish these uh this even works for level 11 where you have to solve some stuff puzzles it's not really that difficult though to automate but yeah, just turn it on, and this is there's a toggle by the way if you just don't want to click like me, but I'm just showing you one by one. But yeah, this automatically puts the code, deciphers it, opens that door, deciphers the book codes there, turns on the computer, and then pretty much you just have to wait until the computer's done doing its thing, and then the door opens, you're in. So after this level, 
it's the same thing. It's just complete darkness where you have to find your way out of this fucking maze and avoid the skin stealer, I think. The skin walker? Whatever his name is. <laughs> but yeah, then you... Oh, the voice crack. Oh my god. But then you get teleported to a pool level. And then this level... Um, but yeah, this level's a bit um, buggy as well. So if you actually enable this... Basically, all this does is it will teleport to all the lockers in the game, which have hidden keys. And it will teleport to all the doors afterwards. So, sometimes it won't open the door or you'll still, like, not, you know, pass the level. And if that happens, just run it again. Just press complete level again, basically. Um, so, yeah, now we're here. And then, this is what I'm saying. So, at level 11, basically, all you have to do is just decipher these balls right here. So, you can see into a code so that does it automatically already for you just press complete level and it'll automatically you know put the codes in for you break the door and it gives you a notification that there is a level 11 issue right here that's very buggy it's just the game honestly there's nothing you can really do but it turns on the computer and stuff and you just have to wait for this door to open once this door is open you just have to do the obby yourself this is why i said it's half complete because you have to do this part yourself <laughs> And try not to fall off. <laughs> yeah, just, um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna solve this thing. Just teleport. Bloop. Bloop. We're gonna keep going. Bloop. 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 And then we're gonna... Bloop. Ah! Okay, <laughs> then we're gonna finish. That's it. Well, that's all we're gonna do. So, once you finish this level, that's just go this way. I'm just going to teach you how to actually finish level 11. Um, so yeah, just uh, go this way, go this way, go this way, this way. No jumping is required for this path that I'm doing. So yeah, just go here and go here. Take this key up here. Go back down and then go this side now. Uh, we're just going to jump, then go here, then open this padlock because that's what the key is for. Once you're at this side, just uh, you're going to be taken to this next table and there's going to be a key now i have to do an obby but um i added a teleport button so you can just teleport <laughs> like teleport a little bit so you don't actually have to jump and risk dying so yeah there you go so once you actually finish it just open this door right here it's going to open and then keep going you just kind of have to cross the path here which is kind of weird it's nothing really complicated you're just just have to walk all this way um but yeah just walk this way and then once you're here you're gonna see a red button once you're near the red button after this jump just keep walking to the red button turn it on and then the door opens and you walk in that's level 11. now you'll get taken to this painting room um don't press complete level by the way because there's nothing actually there i didn't finish it yet so there's nothing really to complete so but basically all you have to do in this level is pretty much just look for um, paintings and there's a painting this way so take that and then after that you kind of just uh, look for the other paintings I'm really I, I'm kind of not sure where the other ones are though I'm gonna have to look um, I won't cut the video so you know ugh, if you want to find it with me we can find it together bro so yeah I'm just gonna not leave it uncut and you know we'll find the painting together but I'm pretty sure it's behind yeah this wall as you can see, sometimes it's glitched, like this level. This is why I can't make a script for it right now. Or I'm having trouble. It's because sometimes the paintings get stuck. Like, you can't actually collect them. Sometimes. I don't know why you can't collect them. I I thought it, you had to, like, place them down first. But I'm clicking these and they're not working. So maybe you have to collect the painting and then go back and place them. And then go back and then place them. I don't know. But it's a bit buggy right now, trying to collect all the paintings at once. So maybe you have to do that method where you get a painting and then put it in the holder painting right here. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit bugged right now. So yeah, just, that's pretty much all this script has to offer until I um, until the game devs themselves fix this game for level 11 and 12. Uh, yeah, I, I can't make us I can't automate the level yet. But for the other levels, automate automated. But yeah, I think that's it for the script. Just go for updates to see what I'll update. I haven't updated anything yet. I will add a new update log because I did add 
support for level 11 kinda but yeah that's it for today thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for using my script